Hi everyone, today I have a video that I haven't done in a little while. I'm going to be doing a current favourites video. I haven't done one of these in a while because I haven't had kind of go-to things that I've been using. Um, I've just been kind of like using odd things but not like over and over and that's kind of how I judge whether it's a favourite at the moment or not but because I haven't done one of these in a little while <laughs> I have a few things to share with you today. They're all a bit different, a bit all over the place but equally wanted to share them all. So I'm going to jump in and I'm going to start with my traveller's notebook. If you have been watching my creative journaling videos you will know that I'm back in a standard size TN. The one I'm currently in is Zinni Dory and this is probably my favourite. It was the first one that Zinnia ever sent me. Um, this was gifted to me like three years ago or something. This is the raspberry pink one and it is just absolutely beautiful and I love it. So I'm back in standard size. I decided to move back into this size just because I wasn't super loving the personal size. This was the one I was using beforehand and this is the insert that I've not yet finished and I think because of my circumstances and stuff and everything that was going on in my life I just kind of didn't love it as much. Um, not because of the actual TN and all that. Um, it was more the insert. I just didn't enjoy filling this insert in. So I wanted to change and start a fresh insert and I decided to just at that time start a standard size insert. So basically I changed it up completely which is kind of how I deal <laughs> with things like that. So yeah I'm back in here. I'm really enjoying using it. This is my new my new insert. The insert that I'm using at the moment is from Crafty Alley. It is lined but I don't really mind too much. I kind of just cover the pages as I usually do with a blank insert. The other two inserts in here are just blank and these I've just kind of used them to experiment in really and play around in. So yeah, that is my traveller's notebook and current creative journal and this has definitely been a favourite. After being in a bit of a funk with my other creative journal, I've really really enjoyed adding to this. So yeah, this has been kind of my go-to creative outlet recently. Next I have this journal which is my brain dump. This journal is a favourite because I haven't really stuck to one of these in ever. <laughs> I've had multiple brain dumps before. This one though I have been adding to quite frequently. Might not look it from this but this, this is this is more than I've ever done in some sort of like fully written journal. Um, I'm not going to show you inside this, this is literally like brain dumping anything, any thoughts, any worries, anything like that. I just kind of dump it here and once it's off my brain I don't have to think about it and if I want to think about it then I can read back over it and process it kind of at a later date shall we say. But yeah this is a Moleskine that I picked up in TK Maxx for probably about six quid or something. It just has blank pages and I did originally pick it up because obviously the blank pages I thought oh that'd be a really good art journal to try out because I have been wanting to like use a Moleskine for some sort of mixed media-y type stuff just to see how the pages and stuff hold up. But yeah I ended up needing to write down what was going on in my head and this was the first notebook that I grabbed off of my notebook shelf <laughs> um, which is a shelf full of notebooks that I've hoarded and fully intend on using at some point but haven't just yet and now I've filled a shelf with them so yeah <laughs> this was the first one I picked up didn't pick it specifically for this I just needed a notebook on the spine I just have a Dymo label that says brain dump and on the front I just have a vinyl sticker from Pipsticks that says keep the love flowing and then a little plaster sticker so yeah this is my when I'm feeling anxious, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, this is where I dump what is going on in my head basically. I have been grabbing for this multiple times um, throughout the past however long it's been since February basically. <laughs> so yeah, these two journals together are helping me a lot. Next I've got a few art supplies. So these are liquid enamel or like pearl effects. They're basically like liquid enamel dots. I have a lot of enamel dot stickers but obviously once you've used them they're gone and they're kind of a bit expensive <laughs> to keep rebuying and everything so these are a good alternative. So these ones are Nuvo crystal drops. These ones I would say are probably my favourite just because I prefer how they dry. Not saying that these ones are rubbish because they're not. I don't know what it is in these ones that is different to these, just the way they dry. I think I just prefer the way they look. I found it kind of hard to hunt these down in the UK for a decent price. I think the cheapest and biggest range that I found a shop to have is Love From Lizzie. She has a lot of colours on there that I really want, 
but her shipping is kind of like flat rate because she does kits so they're more kind of like add-on to the kits if you're buying the kit anyway so if I'm gonna buy them from her I probably want to buy a ton of them at once but I just don't have the money for that right now if anyone knows of any other places that sell these in the UK or who ships to the UK and is not like extortionate shipping please let me know because I definitely want to get some more colours of these. But yeah, so those are the Nuvo Drops and then these ones are all by Dovecraft. So these are a Trimcraft brand and these ones are a lot easier to get your hands on in the UK. They work exactly the same. These ones are the Pearl Effects and Enamel Effects. So the Pearl Effects are just a bit more metallic-y whereas these ones, the Enamel Effects, are just kind of like a colour. So this one and this one and this one are all Enamel Effects and then these ones are the more metallic-y ones. Again, still want to get my hands on more of these because I want more colours. But yeah, these ones I think are only a couple of quid in the range or Hobbycraft. So I think I mentioned this when I posted this video on my channel, um, but this is where I've used the Nuvo pink one and then I've also used the silver Dovecraft one. So they just kind of put little raised coloured bumps <laughs> on your projects, but they look like enamel dots. You can make them obviously as big or as small as you want. I don't know if you can tell particularly well <laughs> the difference in how they dry but these two dots you can see the pink one is more domed whereas the silver one is a little bit more pointy again doesn't make a massive difference it's just a preference that I prefer how the pink one dries it could just be me not using these properly or having like not found the perfect technique yet but yeah that's how I use them in a journaling spread so yeah these have been a definite go-to favorite recently um, and I really want to get my hands on some more of them so as I said, if anyone knows about the Nouveau drops, please, please, please let me know. The other thing I've been using quite a bit in my art journals are my gelatos. These I picked up in TK Maxx. They just had little sets of them, like little colour sets. So I got a load of pink ones, a load of yellow ones, a load of green ones on various different trips to TK Maxx and HomeSense actually. But yeah, they had them on offer for about £5 for four, I think, which is cheaper than they were on Amazon. So I made sure to grab any that I could find and I have loved using these. These are really really handy for when I don't want to get out a load of like paints and watercolour and stuff like that Just to add a bit of different kind of texture to a mixed media page So I've mainly been using these in my art journal which I don't really share anywhere else other than Patreon So I have process videos of these on my Patreon This is my kind of anything I want sort of art journal-y mixed media-y book <laughs> it's just a notebook by say nice things and it's lined this page i have used the gelatos up here i've used them they're just kind of like you can put them on smudge them a bit they're kind of like oil pastels but they're not quite the same you can add water to them and mess them around like that i've used them here as well i don't think i shared this on my patreon actually this was just a day where i fancied doing something in here and not filming it it was just a page i did for myself but i've used the gelatos up here and down here they're just a really good way to add a bit of texture to a page and they're not super messy because they're little sticks <laughs> each set that i got came with a little paintbrush so this shows how many any sets that I got. I'm still missing some colours and I did have these organised in a really nice rainbow but that's that's not how it is anymore. <laughs> Again I do want to hunt down some more of these but the prices on Amazon are a bit more than what they were in TK Maxx so I'm not quite able to take the plunge yet because I know I bought them for a lot cheaper. So yeah I am keeping an eye out on eBay and stuff. The next thing I have is this, specifically this little container, this this in general not each individual thing so this little tool kit basket thing is from flying tiger and i did feature it in a haul video when i last went to flying tiger at that point i didn't know what i was going to use this for and then moving here <laughs> i have found a perfect use for it when i lived in the other house i had a pegboard with all of my go-to tools on moving here though i don't have quite as much wall space above my desk anyway so i needed to find a different place to put all of my go-to tools so this was my solution and i love it the only issue i have with this is the handle comes off it's not fully attached um, so I think I'm going to have to put some E6000 on it because the amount of times I've gone to pick it up and the handle's fallen off and I've dropped everything everywhere, I have too many dents in my desk now. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to just permanently stick it in there. So yeah, in here I just have all of the things that I tend to use on like a day-to-day -day basis. Some things I don't use every day but they're just there because it's handy to have them so when I'm filming I just take this down and it just sits to the side and I've got everything to hand and it's not 
all messy. <laughs> I'm not having to find different things from different drawers. It's all in one place. So that has been so handy to have. I'll take a picture and insert how it looks when it's sitting on my desk because I just I just think it looks so cute. It's just a dinky little toolbox and I love it. <laughs> the last favourite I have to share with you is kind of a bit different. It's something that I've started doing again. If you've been around on my channel for a long time you'll know that I used to do a lot of Happy Mail videos and just a lot of Happy Mail in general I took part in. But when I moved away from home I kind of just put it on the back burner because I had a lot of other things that I needed to focus on and I have massively massively missed doing that. I have missed it so much I've decided I'm just gonna make time for it. Eventually I do want to get back into pen palling and sending kind of like Happy Mail packages but to start with I'm not gonna overwhelm myself because for one I don't have the money to do that sort of happy mail just yet but also I don't want to take on a load of pen pals and then not be able to send them letters because of lack of time or whatever so I've started out with postcards and oh my goodness I love it so much I've missed it so so much I didn't quite realize how much I'd missed it until I started getting postcards again in the post so I started using post crossing again which if you haven't heard of it it's a postcard swapping website you basically get a random address to send a postcard to and when you send off a postcard your profile gets it's put into the kind of like random generator and will get given to someone else as well so you don't know where the postcards are coming from you also don't know where you're going to be sending one to as well so you do have to keep that in mind if you're doing a ton of them because obviously if you're sending outside of your country it's going to be a bit more expensive um so these are the postcards that i've received since starting up again they're all I think from outside the UK you can put on your profile different preferences so I tend to say colourful cards I think or something from where you're from. I'm not going to be able to show them all because I can't hide <laughs> my address very well if not but the stamps that are on all of the postcards is another thing that I just have missed so much. All the little pieces of artwork. I do collect stamps but not in like a organised way more just when I get stamps on a piece of mail I tend to just take them off and stick them in a book. These stamps I will leave on the postcards. I feel like it's a thing that needs to be kept together so yeah, all of these stamps will stay on the postcards and I'll just keep them in my incoming mailbox. I've also set off a few travelling postcards as well in the travelling mail group and I've also been taking part in other people's cards again. I will leave some links below to post crossing and the travelling mail group so if you're interested at all you can take part. Postcard swapping is obviously like one on one, you swap one card for one card. Travelling mail is more you set off your own cards and then you take part in other people's and you don't keep other people's, you just kind of wait for your card to get back round. So those are all my current favourites at the moment. I don't think I'll be doing these videos every month, I'll probably just do them every now and again when I have enough stuff to share. But yeah, for the past few months these have been my favourite things that I've enjoyed using, have appreciated and wanted to share with you guys. So. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing that. Like I said, I'll have links below to the postcard stuff, but I'll also link other bits and pieces as well. As always, if you do have any questions, then let me know below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.